Hi guys, Todd here. Well, it's been a while, but they're back. Yes, E Phoenix. Uh, it's been, oh god, I don't know when the last time was. I looked at something from the guys, certainly before the whole COVID thing kicked off. But what we're going to look at here tonight is the E Phoenix Hurricane 1.4 NG RTA. Open the box up and you will find the following a Duda. Yes, this is the Duda that undoes the Duda nut uh, inside the tank when you want to take it to bits. Underneath all that, uh, all you old SV guys rejoice. Yes, it comes with spare O-rings. You'll also find a couple of air pins as well because the pins you get with this are 0 0.8, 1.2 and 2.5. You can do a 0 0.8 mouth to lung all the way up to what I would consider quite a loose restricted direct lung, almost direct lung. There's no manual or anything like that uh, and uh, price wise on this one you will be going along to their website, the ePhoenix website, just google it and you'll find it and it's about 130 Swiss, 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 Swiss francs and uh, that works out about £105, obviously you'll have shipping fees on top of that. Now please bear in mind that I've had this and put several builds through it already and been vaping away with it. I have rinsed it out but uh, yeah it's not going to be immaculate because it has been used. Now this is 24 millimeters in diameter. Uh, the height not including the 510 or the drip tip you're going to be looking about 36 point sorry 34 0.6 millimeters. The overall look of this is, well, this, you, you could be any RTA, but when you see this, then yeah, it's it's classic uh, Hurricane. You know, it does look like an E Phoenix Hurricane RTA. Uh, drip tip up the top, you just pull this off. It's 316 and PMMA construction. So 316 base, double O-ring, and you can actually unscrew this. Um, I don't know if they're going to come out with any other tip or anything, but uh, yeah, it does split apart. For those that are interested, uh, we do have um, about a 4.2 millimeter bore going on here. And when I measured it out, you know, going down through the chimney here, it's the same bore going right down through there. It's about 4.2 mil. I will say about the drip tip, I did actually find it. Uh, it works quite well for mouth to lung this. Uh, it works well with mouth to lung and restricted direct lung, but when I wanted to, you know, when I have it fully open, I found that uh, I really did need a wider bore drip tip than this one. So once again, you're looking at 316 stainless steel for everything you see here, pretty much. Uh, we've got a top fill that goes on here. And right now, um, I will point out that it's one of my niggles. Uh, see the marks right there and there. Um, it actually came out the box like that. Uh, so that's a bit of a, yeah, a wee bit of QC could uh, be improved on that front. But um, right, so see the notches that you have here. So right now, those notches, you can see they're actually filled. So that means that I can take my nail under there and I can pull this off and fill her up couple of holes, divots in there, a couple of little bits here, they line up with that, so that goes on there. So you can see, just putting my top cap back on, if I turn this, see how it's closing? This is the juice flow control opening and closing here, so obviously, you know, when it's in that position and you can take the cap off, you know, that's the juice flow control that's going to be closed. Uh, so that's pretty much how that works there. Um, Going down here, we have our airflow control ring, and this can be double-sided. Now, the air hole sizes that we hear are the AFC hole sizes. You've got, starting from the smallest, you've got 0 0.8, 1.1, 1.4, 1.7, .1 and 2 millimetres. You will see here that I've got one of them is fully open, and on the other side is closed. You can have, like, one side open. So when you're going mouth to lung, you're not going to have both air holes open, just the one. So that's a bonus there. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice this little indicator line here. Well, that will come back to that when I take the tank to bits. The actual tank here itself is PMMA, and it holds three millilitres of juice. 
So I'm just going to put this onto an attic stand just now, just makes this next bit easier for me. Uh, so there is no, the tank, the top of the tank is not screwed onto the base here. You just wiggle and pull and that's it. It's just held on by these two O-rings. And that's what this line here is indicating. You'll see you've got another little marker there. You have two wicking holes here and basically when you line everything up, it lines up with these notches here and makes sure that uh, you know your wicking holes are in the correct position. Now if you want to take the tank to bits, uh, if you're going to strip it down and clean it, this is where this little guy comes in. Uh, basically you're just going to grab that, pop it in there, it will drop into place. Oh yes it will. There we go, that's our in place and then I can just start turning this and that nut will eventually fall out like that. There we go. And then I can take everything to bits. That'll come off and this comes out like that as well. So there we go, that's the tank. Split right down and you can get in there and clean everything. This is actually a good opportunity to show you how the, the juice flow control is working. Well, I don't know, it's, it's more like an on-off. It's not giving you full control, it's just an on-off. But do you see the, the little slot there? This is the base here. So when you're turning up the top, it's moving this and opening and closing. Now, one thing that really, I, I kind of got caught out, I must admit, when I unboxed this for my patrons and whatnot, I really did get myself in a mess putting this back together. I couldn't get the, the juice flow, I couldn't get the top cap off. I just made a complete mess. But I should have watched the, the video that the guys had put up in the Facebook group. So what you're gonna do is just take your top cap and you're just going to pop it on there, but leave it in this open position like that. Hold it together, spin it over, take your cage and just pop it on. So it's lined up like that. Slide your tank over, holding the whole thing together. It's pretty straightforward. Then pop in this on. Then drop your nut into the little tool here. And then I'm just going to screw this whole thing back together. And that is about it. It's not the easiest thing to get started catching that nut, but um, yeah, once you've done it a couple of times, it's no big deal. And there we go, I can see that I'm back together here, and um, yeah, if you look at the top here, see how the, the slots aren't filled? That means I can look down here, I can see the juice flow control is actually open, and it's like a tap. If I turn it anti-clockwise, that closes off the juice flow, and I can also take the top cap off and fill it with juice. I forgot to put that in my notes there, but uh, just putting my calipers in there and it's about two millimetres in diameter for each of the wicking holes. On the base we have E Phoenix and Swiss made um, and it, it was a bit matte finished here. I actually polished it up to get it a bit cleaner. I it looks like I've scratched it up a bit in a 510. Uh, I don't remember it being like that out the box, so that must be me. Positive post is 18 karat gold over brass. Turn it up the other way. Once again, we've got the dual O-rings and we've got all the AFC, you know about that. And we have uh, two flathead screws there. Once again, 18 karat gold, positive post there, and an air hole. And this looks like an RDA, it, doesn't it? it? It looks just like an RDA deck. And apparently going off the website, there's some mention to about an RDA option coming down the line, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm going to stick with uh, this pin here, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. You just unscrew it with a flat screwdriver. The pins go in and out, no problem. Just showing you the screws here. There's a good length in them, and there's no slop uh, in the screws here at all. Uh, you can see once you pass your wire through, you know, they get caught on either side. So that's all done quite well. I'm going to use a PC coil here from uh, Peter and Elsa, as always, PC coils, and it's a 3mm ID, 0.36 ohm, and it's, um, yeah, it's just one of the coils that they make up for me every once in a while. Uh, there really is no rocket science involved in getting a build in here. Um, it, it's just really straightforward. It is like an RDA. Folding my legs up top like that, and then I'm just going to snip them off. There's the other one. And you can see where my coil is placed there. I'm, I've taken it down quite low to the air pin there because I'm not a huge fan of lots of throat hit. I could raise it if I wanted to. And it, that's a 3mm ID fuse clapton. So you can see the amount of room you've got in there. We're now pulsed. 
I've cut my cotton, uh, I've, I've thinned it out, and to be honest, I mean, I literally build this much the same way as I do an RDA. I'm just going to grab my tails there and just fold them down into the deck. Uh, I'm not using masses of cotton here because I will actually be using a heavier VG. If you are mouth to lunging, uh, then I would suggest more or, or the cotton to be thicker. Now, temptation, you think, oh, well, I can take all the cotton round here. I probably can, but uh, for me, uh, this is how I have been building it. Get some juice on here. The great thing, or the one thing I do like, is the fact that the, the air pin is quite high. You know, even mouth to lunging, if you get some juice in that deck there, then it's not going to go down the air pin and you don't get juice bouncing about inside the AFC. So that's a thumbs up there. As always, whilst I'm on a regulated device here, I'm just going to find my little arrow here and I can just see that that other one is here. Make sure this is lined up. Pop it on. There we go. Another test fire just to make sure there's no short. That's fine. One thing to watch out for is that after you've been using this for a few, you know, had a few tanks through it, remember that the cotton will collapse. If the cotton collapses and you're not closing off your juice flow here and you leave it, then you could end up having leaks because, you know, well, cotton collapsing. Once you finish vaping with it for the night, close the juice flow control. So I'm going to fill this up with juice just now. I just want to push this anti-clockwise this little doodah here, make sure that my juice flow is closed, fill it full of some Jedi's Punk top cap, just make sure my holes are lined up here and you can see that that just pops in there like that, quite the thing, and just give it a squeeze down, turn it clockwise, and that's me, my juice flow holes are now open, I should start getting bubbles and I should be good to go. We're going to use a Dendro today because uh, with a 24mm Atte, I just I love this mod to bits with 24mm Atte's. So there you go for the E-Phoenix Hurricane 1.4 NG. Um, I don't actually know what the NG stands for. Somebody remind me. Put it in the comments. What does it stand for? Just, I probably got told at some point in time, but it went in there and it just went out there. Anyway. Um, 24 millimeter at 316 construction. You've got PMME on the tank and the drip tip with stainless steel. You've got peak insulators. You've got 18 karat gold over brass for the positive connection. And it's got a deck that's very similar to an RDA. It's incredibly easy to wick, incredibly easy to put a build in. Uh, you can mouth the lung, 0 0.8 millimeters up to well, you'll see how much it goes up to in a second. Mouth to lung, it does really well. You just have to make sure that you put more cotton in up to those wicking holes. Uh, uh, you guys that have used vertical wickers in the past, you'll know all this. You've seen it before, you know how it works. Keep an eye on it. Use the juice flow control. If you're leaving the tank overnight, close the juice flow control. Uh, it's anti-clockwise to close, clockwise to open, and it's, pretty straightforward um yeah this is really damn good it's for me it, it's i find it better as a restricted direct lung tight and really loose um i actually prefer it vaping it that way uh, than to mouth to lung i'm not saying it's a bad mouth to lung tank it's not it's actually it's good it just for me it's it seems to be better uh, with um, custards and dessert type flavor, flavors restricted direct lung. The AFC is nice and clicky. You can turn it round. You can have two air holes open or you can just have one air hole open. So you can have one two mil hole or you can have two two mil air holes open on the AFC. And which works well for the 0 0.8 uh, and the mouth to lung because it does give you that a, a proper mouth to lung vape. Um, the only thing is on when you, the more open you go with this, it does get noisy. Uh, it, it's, um, I love the Dwarf, okay? The Dwarf is a great tank, but 
loose restricted right lung, I find the Dwarf to be quite a noisy tank. Those of you that own it will, will know that it's a fact. Uh, but I, I let that go because I like the tank so much. This is kind of the same, it's on the noisier side. So this is fully open, as big as you can go, air pin and air holes. Flavour is very... I'll tell you what, the flavour is as good as any other Hurricane that I've owned over the years. And Hurricanes have always been flavour atties. They've always been very, very good. And this is no exception. Um, things to watch out for. When you take the tank two bits uh, and you're putting it back together, um, follow exactly what I showed you. Uh, you want to put the top cap and the, the base bit together. Um, and hold it in place. So you've got those two prongs coming up, you'll know, get them to fit in, leave it in the open position, and then reassemble everything. If you get it the wrong way round, then you can end up with a total mind bender trying to get the top cap back off, because uh, you'll have got it back to front, like I did. Uh, and it's not fun, believe me. Uh, but once you've done it once, once you know how it works, yeah, no problems. I really like the look. Uh, the fact that it's it's twenty four mil, but it's it's still it's still got that E Phoenix thing going on. You know, with it, this bit down here, it looks like an E Phoenix. Um, as I said in the close ups, the drip tip is just a bit too narrow bore for me. Fully open, I find that it just. And I know some people say drip tips don't make any difference. To me, they make a world of difference. This narrow a bore and that loose of a draw, it just gives me, it hurts my throat. So I'm going to take this off, get my good old dwarf direct lung drip tip. So once again, I'm on a 3mm ID coil, 0.36 ohm fuse Clapton from PC Coils. Uh, this is a 3mg heavy VG and... That's just... Brilliant. I was going to say excellent in Swiss, but I don't know what that is. So I'll just say that's really tasty. Um, that's all I've got for you. I mean, cons wise, I'm I'm going to I will say it. I'm a bit disappointed about the mark on the top. Uh, you know, underneath where the drip tip goes. Um, that shouldn't have been there, especially. Well. I was going to say especially sending it to a reviewer, sending it to anybody, uh, it should be 100% perfect. So the QC on a couple of, and then the base was a little bit matte, it wasn't as clean as it could have been, so QC I think could be a tiny little bit better. Uh, overall, outside that, fit and finish of everything has is, yep, yeah, it's been good. And I... Quite, I was going to say surprised. I don't know if that's fair. I won't say surprised. I wasn't sure what direction they were going to go in because you will know that you know a couple of the hurricanes have been uh, yeah, a bit convoluted. Uh, but this one, it's nice and simple. The deck's dead easy to build on. It wicks really well, in my opinion, uh, depending on the amount of cotton you're using. And I'd, I'm curious what the, the RDA section that they talk about on the site will be like if you know if it's just a top cap that you fit on top of it. Uh, the, the only thing I will say is it's it's quite um, for 24 mil atty uh, that height only having three mil of juice in it. Um, that that's it's quite a tall one for only three mil of juice and and you know that diameter of tank, but. Oh, I'm just grumbling now. I'm moaning. I'm just moaning for 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 no good reason at all. It is a flavoursome atty. It works mouth to lung, tight restricted direct lung, loose restricted direct lung. Some might say that this fully open is a direct lung, but um, I whatever. It gives good flavour and um, and I really like it. But that's all I've got for you on the E Phoenix 1.4. Uh, Thank you to the lovely brothers for sending this on. Well, one of you is lovely, the other one's really grumpy. Uh, thanks for sending it on. I did get this free to review and show off to you guys. And until next time.
Bye for now.